done this is an age related thing i bit a pork scratching once and blew one of my back teeth in half just went bang <laughs> i've never eaten a pork scratching again they are i mean i was like 24 uh that cost me 400 quid that that pork scratching not doing that again and there were some way someone would go do you want a pork scratching no i fucking don't last one cost me 400 quid i don't want a pork scratching that who are the fuck <laughs> guess my ass that's the worst mistake of my life I um, mm. I'll be honest. The, the pub snack. If I go to a pub, it's got to be scampi fries. Have you ever had them? They're yeah, they're lovely. They're they should be, though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're awful. They don't taste like scampi. They taste like little things of oil and fat. But yeah. they're just the best. When you're having a beer, especially a Guinness. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Guinness is already enough calories for a meal, and you go. Oh, I needed a snack. <laughs> I need something. I need a snack. Keep myself going. Fuck it up. <laughs> deep fried white bait fuck me <laughs> oh that's terrible no. yeah they always give you like a thousand in the porch yeah here's your dinner and, okay. and there's always one tiny little bastard at the, right at the bottom who's like extra extra crispy because he's been fried three times <laughs> yeah. like he's my favorite he's the one stuck on the frying basket and he's been there yeah. all day just going in and out taking yeah. numerous dips and you get him and you're like it doesn't there's no meat left it's just no hollow. it's just solidified oil, oil really yeah, yeah. It's the best. <laughs> I like snack talk. We should just do snack talk. Yeah, well, we'll mid- come back. We'll come back to this later on the show. Are you middle aged and want to die? Yep, here's some snacks for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna see. You. Doritos, birthday. Doritos are bad. Oh, okay. that's yeah. actually not a bad idea for a show. That's actually just, a good idea. Just snacks, yeah, but just we can't snacks. try them because if we get addicted, we'll <laughs> because we're too die. old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Brad can't be here this week. He's got diabetes. And he's in a go. Dude, the last week. <laughs> How many white bait can you eat? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's looking good in chat. We've got Paul, Tony, Andy, Gareth, Rufus, Dion, Dean, Ali, etc. Keith, Bob, Jackie, you name it. They're in. Um, and they're, re- they're raring to go. Should we crack on? Let's crack it. Ooh, okay, I'll roll intro. We can still call it. Oh, we have to go on to Amazon for sugar free Amazon. No, don't get it. I'm going to to read the yeah. reviews. We're actually well, live. Well, We're actually visibly yes. live now. Welcome to the show. Oh. <laughs> uh, Episode 30 of the new home show. Um, ooh, what a show we've got for you tonight. Uh, good to see everyone in chat. Don't forget to smash that like button. Turn the chat to live chat. I haven't even done that this week. There I we have, go. I have. So you I don't miss any messages. And uh, we will crack on. Super special guest, Vinny <laughs> SVA. Servapes a lot in the house. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be we'll be grilling him later on oh, yes. uh, on all things vaping. Uh, but good to have a friendly face back. It's good to be back, dude. Thank you for inviting me. No everyone. worries, no worries. Uh, we've also got John Martins, off of e liquid fame. Off of e liquid fame uh, in the new studio. In the new awesome. studio, what a lawn mower that is. I was about to say, I like the lawnmower choice. Uh, it's a hell of a prop, lawnmower. isn't it? You don't you see that on YouTube very often. Wheel. No, not many people get the lawnmower in the shop. Also, you lawnmower don't have enough grass for that lawnmower. <laughs> no, don't take the piss out of my grass, which is... That is, that is sensitive. That's, I don't want to you about. need a bigger patch of grass for that of scale of mower. Yeah, I need a pair of scissors <laughs> for how much grass grows in my fucking garden. If you started <laughs> cutting the lawn with a pair of scissors, you would finish before I le- I would leave to go plug that lawnmower in. It's not the, that; it's the wrapping the cord back round the. Oh god, that yeah. is a twat. Yeah. Why don't they give you the? Why thing do with, they you know, do that with vacuum do you cleaners? The old Hoovers, but yeah, and it <laughs> went back in. Yeah, we all want that. <laughs> I broke so many of them just pulling it out as a kid and shooting it back in. Oh. Do you remember the, the one that, that released that was called a goblin? I can't remember who it was made by, 
That's a bad name for a Hoover, actually. I just realised Goblin is not a good idea for a Hoover, but it was called a Goblin. And people used to lead them around the house like they were a dog, like down the stairs, just pull it (laughs) 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 over lumps, up things. What the fuck are you doing? Hoover broke. Of course it fucking did. (laughs) For that. So in summary, Flymo, bit lazy. Yeah, bit bit lazy. For not for not for not introducing the. I'll be fairer, it was free because I was walking to back home for the post office. No, I get it. It was outside someone's house and it said free to a good home. And I thought, (laughs) I've got a good home and I'm tight. And I rang my wife and said, stop halfway through the village. There's a hoover on, there's a uh, a mower on the right hand side sticking the back of the car. (laughs) You told your wife to do it. (laughs) She's got a car. You didn't even carry it yourself. It's a fly mo. She put it in the back of the car. I didn't, I can't turn it on and hover it home. It weighs (laughs) quite a lot. They don't really hover. They don't really hover, mate. They do. What, above, what, it floats above the, it levitates? No, it, it takes the weight off the so you can move it. it did. You can't move it otherwise. We've gone off on a tangent. Yeah, it's your fault this time. Don't, don't we always? Brad's here as well. Um, yeah, so, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's let's just crack on. Well, wow, well, while well, we're grilling you about your surroundings, John, like and that. my mow is too big for my garden as well, so that's why I felt like I could mention it. Yeah, definitely could. You could cut yours with a pair of scissors while you were sat on the sofa. I, no way. No way. It'd take upwards of an hour. <laughs> what, with a pair of scissors? Yeah. Mine would. Mine would take upwards of an hour because I'd have to walk between blades of grass in the garden. Oh, that's no. why it would take so Oh, no. That's, I've, got a, I've got a thick patch. As, <laughs> and the grass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely strip. It's, just, it's, it's, it's dense with grass. It's just not a, 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 a big... Area. As, and now, as, to introduce this week's sponsor, <laughs> Ball Grooming. Ever <laughs> grow. Those ads on Facebook for those trimmers that are like, set, like <laughs> made specifically for testicles. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've been yeah. getting those on my videos. I don't. I, fair enough. Nice to see you're still monetized. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not. I don't remember searching for anything like that, but somehow Google thinks I need them. Yeah. You know? Maybe Google knows something you don't. Maybe maybe someone else in your house is. They do look good. It. Those uh, we're not supposed to talk about the adverts. I think that's one of the policies. But I wonder, they I do wonder look. If they, they do look good. I wonder if they just check. It's not that you have mentioned them. It's that you haven't. Yeah, so at the ad center, they're like, "Got to get Vinny. Get send to, send some uh, 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 bollock trimmers ads to Vinny." Man, Manscaped. That's it, Manscaped. Well, he, ha- he hasn't fucking bought any. <laughs> it's got to be a fucking mess down there. Fair enough. <laughs> We'll get it sorted. He's still using that pound big razor for you. Be, <laughs> be uh, careful. Be careful. I'm not splashing out for Gillette. That's just too expensive. I know, but I don't know. I just don't want to hear about any ball related accidents. <laughs> well, uh, I definitely want to hear in graphic. We've detail. gone from low most to balls. Um, <laughs> John, John, what are you drinking? What are you vaping this evening? In your it. lovely surroundings. Thank you. It's gonna it's gonna slowly get darker outside. So, mm. um, so it works. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got life and death by vocation. Hey look. Um, hey, look. I d I know it's I oh. saw I was gonna do a matchy snappy. I thought that was good. Um yeah, I've got that in this. Um It's a mistake because life and death always gets me. And I should you drink it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um and then I have got crack current in the Dvar 22 on top of the mix by Aspire. 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 Yeah. Oh. Um, and yeah, that's delicious. Are you gonna Are you oh. gonna give us a review of it now? I can do. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Who did I buy it off? Somebody let me know. Cheeky vape. Cheeky vape, I did. I bought it from Alex at Cheeky Vape. They've got the restocked forty-five pound plus P and P from Cheeky Vape. Here's the um, Aspire mix designed by Sunbox. Um, it is an eighteen six fifty and eighteen three fifty mod. So this bit right here, well, there's a, this ch- tube changes out. You need to change these poles. Not mentioned in any of the uh, blurb before. You wow. Need to these poles. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Drop down. Not really. It's not toolless, is it? Um, 
but it's 45 quid. Uh, mine, there was some speaker that's ra- uh, button, button rattling. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There you go. Screens on the bottom. Ooh. Like that. And uh, battery cap. Do that. Oh, there you go. Um, and there's a fire button and your ups and downs button. Are um, you happy anyway, with it? I am really. For 45 quid, it's ludicrous. It's. You've always got, wanted a sunbox, haven't you? No. I've always. I've got. Uh, I like mods that work. Uh, I've got probably what would be classed for an average man's hand, I reckon. I don't have big hands. I've got quite long fingers. I've got big hands. Um, this is a full size spanner. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped on one of them today. A full size <laughs> hand or a spanner? No, one of those little deep babe coil removal tools. Yeah. <laughs> nice. um, Nightmare. Anyway, that's how big it is, really. Um, that's the next to right? Yeah, yeah. That's it. The next to a can of beer. It's the size of those 8650, isn't it? Yeah, it's that big. Okay. It's fantastic. £45. I think it's a no brainer. It's hard as fuck. Um, uh, it works. There were some some people said that there, there was a little bit of wiggle in their fire button. There's none in mine. It doesn't, there's no rattle. It doesn't rattle at all, the mod. Um, I think it's fantastic. And 45 quid from Cheeky Vape. Everybody else is the lowest I've seen it elsewhere is 55, but the average price seems to be 65. Um, so Cheeky Vape would be saving 20 quid, basically. It's worth it. It does look like a really More good plugs. Uh, they can have it. Because every time you buy it from Cheeky Vape, some box uh, don't like you. So get it from Cheeky Vape. Um, it is. The design is absolutely gorgeous. I've made the joke for years of doing live shows on YouTube. I've never bought a Sunbox before because the, Q- the QC is absolutely terrible. But this is designed by them, but made by somebody else. So it's a perfect world. And yeah, anyway. Do you think people should get one? Definitely. Comes in three colours. You can buy it in three different colours. Black, um, this sort of brushed steel, and uh, white. A lot of people on cam, this can look white. I don't know what everyone's seeing, but that is silly. It's like a brushed stainless. Uh, is it I heavy? Think it, is it heavy? It's got a heft, but it's not really heavy. I think it it, this, it feels like 100 quid, but it costs you 45. And uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, of course, the other thing I'm vaping on, and the other thing I'm vaping on is a little battery that... Um, you sent me actually uh, the Just Mini, and I put the Vapresso tank on top. Oh, look at that! And that's got mm. a cactus, the new cactus punch that I can't tell you about. They're good, those coils, aren't they? GTX coils. Mm. That's it, GTX. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm a bit of an idiot, and uh, had it charging and it's warmed up. I'm going to do a flick because it doesn't do me any favours. Let me try again. That's why I want. That was a lung here with 50 milligram. I wouldn't do that. That's a great <laughs> idea. <clears throat> and that's the new flavour from Cactus Punch, which will be coming out soon. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Don't do that. Brad, save me. Yes, dear. Save you. Oh, you. Okay. You're vaping while you drink it. <laughs> I have moved on to the Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Tangerine. Sorry, Clockwork Tangerine, you you are spot on there. I may, I may be one, one or two deep there. Freudian slip. How strong is that one? That one, dear, is Five. two pence. It's two pence strong. Nice. It literally says two pence. Yeah. It's two units, isn't it? What the? What is the? What alcohol content is it? Is it? I thought it was like I'm five. Looking, I'm Five point six, is it? No, nah, four point five. Oh, 4. it's a wee, it's a wee baby one. Oh, by the way, all this po- fucking it's an alcohol. postal order beer has fucked up Adnams for me yesterday. I had the first pint in a pub for ages yesterday. It was absolutely awful. What, um, what, what about the that? It fucked up Adnams for me. I got what I normally buy in a pub. Yesterday, oh, I see what you're saying. And it tasted of absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's because we've been spoiled during lockdown. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I wonder what they did with all the beer, you know. Oh, they just yeah. kept that. Mm. They kept that. So, for the next few weeks, <laughs> all the ale was going to be shit. Yeah. Really, really shit. Plus, I think yeah. there's, there's, depending on where you go, there's a chance of that. That's why you didn't like your Adnams, is because it was kegged in February. No, it wasn't. They threw it all away, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> the proper places did, yeah. 
they even oh, had to let they had yeah, to let the, the uh, places don't sell adnums. Even the even the um, water companies had to get involved because they dropped oh fuck I can't remember it was like ten million gallons of beer down the drain. It was uh, getting too wide, which is a bit of an issue. <laughs> they fucking love it. <laughs> well, there's not many fish in the terms where NC is out anyway. No, what what is in there? I wouldn't fucking class as a fish either. No. More likely got more legs and arms than we do. <laughs> there was a dolphin in there. The oh, yeah, fuck. it didn't make it, did it? Yeah, he's no, lost them. No, it swam. Uh... So I have uh, just put two fresh pods in these because the whole week I've been using the dwarf again and five minutes before the show I went and burnt the living crap out of a thing of cotton and didn't have the time to rewick so I am using both pods tonight with my cactus as always from where the fuck are you John from him okay I can tickle his pretty little head Oh, yes, 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 yes. I did send you something. I've got Very to darling. Some more special nicks. Yes. What are you drinking and what are you vaping, mate? Uh, well, as discussed earlier, not that I've gone off beer, but I've just been more into the whiskey. And but, I didn't they, feel... they didn't hear that. I think we oh, need the yeah. sound bite of what you said. <laughs> <laughs> this is Vinny, this is Vinny watching his weight. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, so I said that I've uh, I got really fat during lockdown, so much so I had trouble putting standing up, putting my socks on. So I kind of laid off the beer, and instead I've just been drinking like a shit lot of shit ton of whiskey. Um, <laughs> it's funny. So don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get mashed on the show. Can't <laughs> whiskey, right. yeah. we've got we've got four. Yeah, to about it. So at the minute I'm literally just on water. And I'm going to save the whiskey for afterwards, you know? Yep. Um, nice. Vape wires, I've got the, you know, I, I pronounce things incorrectly all the time. So I'm going to say this is the V Folk or Volk pod, pod. Is that the smock one with the screen? No, no, no. This is by a company called Volk. Oh. Volk. Is it Volk? What, how, how is it spelled? B F O L K. B F. V, uh, v for Vinny. Yeah. Uh, F O L K. Isn't that, isn't that Walk. the Irish way of spelling Mary? On <laughs> <laughs> the Mary pod system. Um, with 50 milligram sugar cane. They're disposable pods, but you know, it's not bad. Sugar cane's all right. I, I mean, reckon I'm... it's I reckon it's pronounced as a W. I think Richard's got it. I think it's like wolf, 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 whatever. I've already wolf, got wolf. Everyone, oh, want, everyone wants a term that doesn't show up on Google except for them. Yeah, it's true. That's like why, oh, that's a good that's idea. why Norwich Union changed to Aviva because Aviva wasn't a word, but Norwich right. and Union were. So the, the whole point of that. So it's the same. So all these people like the mix, you know, everything has got a bizarre name now. Yeah. That actually makes a good point in all fairness. Okay. Um, and then I've got the Smock Scar P3. They're all plugged in. Yeah, yeah I know. They're all plugged into the laptop, these two, because I've just been... I'm, I'm really bad about charging devices. I always end up using it until it runs out, then getting something else yeah. and using that. That's why I don't like built-in batteries. Nah. No, I know. Yeah, I'm the same with removable batteries. Yeah, but at least you've got a pile of Vating 650s you can turn to. Yeah, true, and I've got the Aegis, and with the Druga Two RDA. Ooh, oh, the Druga Two RDA, that's brand new, isn't it? It is, it is. Do you know what? I love it. I, is it all right? I it all, yeah, man, it's wicked. Simple, easy to build, and I didn't use the Phillips head screwdrivers on top. I literally just screwed them down with my fingers. It can be done, and they're snugly in there, man. Yeah, I liked the first one, so I'm I'm up for that one. That's a proper vapor. I like the fact that he's made it sound like a like a positive, but he was like, "There's no way I'm getting a fucking screwdriver." I'm already sat down. I'm doing this. <laughs> However, this is turning out. No, do you know what? Because you, you know what happened. He yeah. had three whiskeys and he couldn't <laughs> stand up to fetch the screwdriver. Yeah. 
Fuck it. No, I, just, I just couldn't gauge the eye with the screwdriver in the thing. I kept fucking missing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, but in all fairness, the, the screwdriver I have that comes with the um, coil master kit is too small for this Phillips head. So I tried to put it in there and try and screw it anyway. Yeah, it's huge, it? And yeah, it's a proper screw, this, that like I would use to screw something into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, get a massive fucking... You can use pliers as well, can't you? You can grip pliers on the ends and go yes. like that. I used to do that with the first version. You can, but yeah, they've improved. They've definitely improved it. I mean, you can just do it with your fingers, which is cool. I like it. Interesting. Oh, and I'm vaping in that some Delight Berry. Mm. Do you still do, you still do juice one. reviews, Vinny? Um, no, not really. No. Um, I mean, I've done it for as uh, like for requests from like friends or yeah, favors and stuff. In that that respect, but to be honest, it's just the fact that when you agree to do a juice review for someone, they send you like ten e liquids, and uh, I don't know. It just after a while, you stop noticing any sort of flavor. So you have to break it up into different days or yeah. different videos and people get bored of the same thing yeah it's a really tough i found when i was agent for big j i found the trouble being that uh would warn somebody a couple of times i said to them it's a bad review i i don't i'm just telling you now as a warning um oh, I, don't know, I won't be that bad and they'd do it and then they'd, they'd go fucking hell why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Seth didn't like it. It's, it's never going to be good. It was like it was awful. Yeah, you can yeah. sugarcoat your juice, but I'm not sugarcoating my review. So do you? So do you have like a set favorite juices now then, or do you still like try all sorts all the time? No, I oh, me or John. You. Oh, I mean, it's definitely I'm... definitely not me. I own a liquid company. <laughs> you Vinny. Shit. You Vinny. Uh, have you got no, set all... like juices now? No, not at all. Not at all. I just, um, I like trying different things, to be honest. If I'm going to the vape shop or online, I'll just order some random stuff and, yeah. you know, just try it out. Cause I, there are juices that I could just vape all the time. I mean, a lot of them I don't know if they even still make, though. Like, yeah, I think it was Granny's Pie was one of my favorite back in the day. Yeah. Like, pre TPD. Um, that was know that. me banging. <laughs> Is that the Apple one? No, it's the, I think it's Peach Cobbler. Oh, okay. I remember there was an Apple one back in the day called Granny's Pie, and it was it it, it tasted exactly like the smell of a kid whose nappies are full of piss. That's what it, exactly <laughs> what it tasted like. It was like it vapes good. <laughs> if it's that one, <laughs> you know, when somebody passes you their baby or something and goes, oh, or like whatever, and you go, oh, look at, oh my god, he's definitely full of piss. Jesus Christ, this kid stinks. Get it off me. What about you, Richard? I mean, do you? Uh, Consider doing juice reviews or no, no, and I, I don't, I can't bring myself to do a juice review now. Um, it's interesting. We talked about on my group actually, um, just if people still did watch them, and some people said it's it's handy for just finding out about a new juice that they wouldn't have otherwise heard of. But um, no, I can't bring myself to do it. Um, and I'm pretty set now. I'm pretty set with the juices I like. Uh, like you know, I like cannoli. I like pistache. And I like uh, la, 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 deep root, that and that's it. Yeah. Oh wow! And that's it, really. That's a good. Um, that's, oh, cactus that's custard as well. Root, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but so that's pretty set in stone now. So I'm I'm happy with that. If but I still happen upon random juices sometimes. It's nice to have a change. But uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I'm pretty just set now, flavors wise. I don't think it's. I think it's like we sort of said. Like I, I, I always said. It's just what it's juice. You need a, a consensus for juice. It's like yeah. if you did a thread on a Facebook group and it said, "Oh, what does everyone think of this juice that's tried it?" and like seventy people liked it and thirty didn't. That's a good gauge of that's probably quite a nice juice. But if one vape reviewer says they like a juice, that's just one comment in that out of those hundred. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just one person's. I, I think the most pertinent question in a liquid review, review by anybody, like if you type the question, it would be great if you could type a thing where all the answers disappeared and then you could, I might, maybe we should do that with a Google sheet. I'll think of a liquid that people know and then I'll type it out. What 
but but so when you answer your answer disappears but you can't see anybody else's answer because i think that'd make a massive difference because i think what you'd end up with is no consensus at all as to what it tasted of like i can oh just... no no yeah not of what it tasted of it's completely no. random what people get but, from yeah. it everybody thinks that their taste buds are identical to the person it's like color them. people see colors yep. completely different it's just that everyone's brains are able some to some people have got calibrate. obviously acute at seeing colors because i've worked with um contractors who do decorating before and they'll hold a paint up and say this is the exact match for that and i'll go it isn't and they go well <laughs> I I can see it is, and I and I think well, I've gone then, and they do it, and I think you dick, it is. They didn't look like that when I looked at it. Yeah, but yeah, completely fucked. I tell you what is, I tell you what is handy though. Top tip: if anyone does still like the juice reviews, click on the review, pause it, and just read all the comments. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> because there'll be like hundred people going, say shit, say shit, say. Uh, so the, the comment likes? section is often. More useful, you know the quack. Is it called quack? Did John think it was called quack juice? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's the quack juice, juice factory. Juice. Goose, goose juice. It's a quack goose factory juice thing, isn't it? So I've got an atomizer in my hand. I'll bring up a little one. But um, that to me tastes uh, identical to a sweet that I remember having that tasted like. Doesn't taste at all like custard. It tastes like toasted. Oh, I know exactly what it tastes like. To me. It tastes like, or I can't remember what they're called, something cakes. They're little toasted coconut things that you could get. Like, they were round coconut, and they were called something cake, and they were like toasted on both sides. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's just a, but, but goose juice is just a mad flavour. Well, people they say are, it, tastes, oh, it tastes just like custard, and it doesn't. The, but the, it, I don't know what the people that made that were thinking they were doing when they made yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But some people love it, so it's great. But that's fine. But it's yeah, it's yeah. such a bizarre oh, yeah. flavour. It's a fantastic liquid as well. Ah, uh, but yeah. Anyway, where were we? Is it my turn? Juice reviews. Yeah, your turn. Oh yeah. Cool. Yes, yeah. Right. So today I'm vaping on the brand new Pulse Two. Tony B's latest thing. Uh, forget you got the hammer at one. Forget your top fill, squonker. It's all about the bottom fill now. Bottom fill squonking. It's the future. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, so vaping on that. That's the next review by popular request on my group. Uh, so that's up next for review. Uh, I've also got this. This is the new uh, <laughs> Gen oh, <yeah>. S. <laughs> it's the new Gen S, which is surprisingly similar to the old Gen without the S. Um, I mean... The, 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 nothing, nothing's changed. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, that's a thing. The sub tank's new. It's got some special coils. Um, and this is after I've done the Pulse 2. This tank is getting my full attention. Uh, Pioneer RTA. Uh, very classy, new, low wattage tank that I'm really enjoying. Uh, Mark Todd's already done a video for it, but I... Well, I'm a better reviewer than him, so it's probably worth waiting to see what I say about it. I reckon. That's what they're all on the edge of their seats for. A lot of people... Sorry, I looked at his video, a lot of people in the comments are like, I'll oh, wait to see what Richard says. Uh, yeah. Which he must hate that. I think he deletes those comments. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. And a plethora of juices in there. I'm trying to finish this bottle. I used to be really bad for not finishing bottles, so now it's like my sole aim. Do you know what? I have juice that I never finish. I, I don't remember the last time I finished a bottle of juice. Mm -hmm. uh, not 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 little ten mils. I finish them all the time. But like fifty mil bottles, I never finished. Yeah, them. I I got really cross with myself and started finishing bottles before moving on. I I had the same problem. I ended up with a drawer full. Of, yeah, just like just bits, just the <laughs> where I pull out you got, unlabeled you got bottles of juice. Imagine. And be like, what the fuck is this? Imagine how many bottles of liquid I chuck out a year, like that I started, uh, or, or especially if someone sends me concentrates to try. Uh, okay, it's fucking madness. Somebody sends yeah. you twenty flavors. Uh, well, I might throw about depends on the branding. Um, and before anybody says it's a waste, I'm stuck with them. There's nothing I can do. I can't give them away within anything because otherwise yeah. it would jeopardize their companies. I'm not doing it. anyway. So I end up mixing these flavors up. Just 
go Bleh, and they never get used. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, at that point, you are better just being in them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not that spot. It's a that's a business thing more than anything else. Uh, should we do some news? Let's do some news. Okay. So, what's first, John? Oh, the first thing is finding the correct Richard on my phone. I know he read out a message just in some videos. Oh, by the way, the peers came courtesy of Keith Jones, who's in who's in chat, who dropped him off at the shop today because he's fucking awesome. That's very and kind. In other news, it's a happy happy birthday. To Mark Toddlington, who's yeah. 27 today. 27. Oh. It's a rough paper round that. Oh, yeah, it's Scotland, isn't it? Uphill, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. It's like Bullseye. Even the downhill's uphill. When you see people on Bullseye in the 80s, <laughs> they look about 50, 60, and then they go on 25. <laughs> it was just harder times back then. It was though. malnutrition. It was this malnutrition. He's what he's what there was like four teeth in a shirt that was like never nothing ever fit beige trousers yeah no, it was he's, a he, stone washed denim head he's doing he is doing another Gervais thing so because it's switched but it's true though it's all it true, true. It, all it's yes. all true people looked way older in the eighties but everybody did when I was a kid well people from I remember when my dad was thirty nine she's the same age I am now and he was like not like a thirty nine year old now. It was crazy. Nah. No, yeah, remember, no teeth, yeah, no, no hair. No, my dad's fine with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no sleeves. Stone yeah, washed down. My, my, my dad my... looked older in his thirties than he does now. In yeah, his exactly. So that it is thing. crazy. My my granddad died at sixty-seven, and like, and now, if you saw my granddad now, you'd go like, you know, so you moved him in time. You'd go, if you said how old do you reckon he is, you'd go late eighties. Might be he might be a good-looking. Early nineties. <laughs> no, is it it's a, not even seventy. But that's is it a big birthday? Work. Is it Mark? To- is it one of a? Is it big birthday, Mark? To- I th- I think it's. I don't know. No, Ooh, it's let's not. not speculate. I think it's. I think it's one year past a big birthday. Oh okay. Yeah. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. Thirty-one. Okay. Well, that's not right. actually a news item. Oh, I know. I was saying for birthday because you mentioned. Yeah, happy birthday, Mark. Wasn't it? Newsworthy, though, Richard. Newsworthy. Oh, always. Right. We're going to go with Bloomberg because this only broke uh, yesterday. Today, today it broke. Oh yeah, it's it's quite a thing of what what's going to happen because uh, it's it's hit. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Worldwide news: <clears throat> Jewel quietly revamps its e-cigarette, risking the if FDA's rebuke. The company made changes to the world's best-selling e-cigarette that might draw unwelcome attention from regulators. The cigarette dual labs introduced in the offspring of 2015 was known internally by an actually what the fuck this has gone mad sorry 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 we know you can't make any changes anyway to a, an e-cigarette but it, it seems as if they have changed uh, the, uh, the look of it in some ways and they've added what are the functions they've added? I've gone mad, I've gone mad, I've gone mad. Uh, have, they, have they gone from Basi- basically they passed the PMTA to a 2011 yeah. technology? Essentially, they passed the PMTA, uh, which is that exact product is now cleared for sale in America. Yeah. And then they've tweaked it. Yes, here we go. This is the thing I've got. The changes to Jules' device haven't been previously reported. FDA spokeswoman Alison Hunt said in a statement that the agency was at no point made aware that Jewel had changed the device's internal components or firmware, though inspectors had learned about changes to the pod. Confirmed by Bloomsburg about the additional modifications, the agency declined to take a position as to whether the changes or their incomplete disclosure broke the law. Uh, Enforcement decisions are left up to the agency's discretion, and some legal and regulatory experts say the FDA wouldn't be inclined to bring down the hammer on a company that made changes to fix a defective product rather than say making the device more addictive or more attractive to teenage users so it's kind of up in the air because it's only really broken today so we kind of need to know what i think it'll be i think it'll be swept under the carpet and that's this that's how they got the pmta it's all backhanders and high fives isn't it uh, so, yeah, well, we know Jules, Jules, Labs, 
due to disclosure, we know that they paid. We know that they they bunged quite a few people money to yep. get where they are yep. and to get around certain they bunged legislation. people to get a PMA. <laughs> bunged, bunged. 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 Yeah. Well, either way, I'm not bothered. Same thing. Um, it's but it's. I mean, it's mad. They but they have. They are doing it. They are following the American system correctly, in a way, you could argue. Well, they're, they're, they're one of their uh, major opposition in the last year is about to get the other end of the stick from the FDA, which is the, the, the disposable uh, pods, the one that's made of compressed paper, I can't remember what it's called. Somebody help me. There's, but no, but any, any e-cig that looks like a jewel is getting banned in America right now. Yeah. Oh, but this disposable For looking like a jewel. For looking like a jewel. The one that got round it for being disposable and being single use, it looks like they've closed the loophole. I don't know, it didn't go into it today, but it looks like they've had theirs and they're going to get their ass kicked. The Caliburn was banned from American sale for looking like a jewel. Yeah. That's when you know you're on the right side of the law. <laughs> yeah. Fucking nonsense, isn't it? It's crazy, but that is interesting. I mean, I would be shocked if... I mean, it'll probably just lead to more backhanders. So yeah. someone will do all right of it. But no, uh, so they can say they're fixing a defective product, can't they? Sounds like they've been given an open goal to say that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, but it's still interesting. It's a crazy decision on their part, unless they're just super confident about being in everyone's pockets. I guess. Perhaps uh, this is one from a local news report. I just thought it was quite interesting. Cause it just pops up at like the top of the news, which didn't make any sense. It's from Taxi Point. But the taxi magazine. Mm. <laughs> really weird. I'm a, a, a you you read some strange magazines in the bathroom, mate. <laughs> I really do. Is it like uh, Carp Weekly? <laughs> if you use the same carp twice, not many people would get complained, would they? No. No one knows. East Suffolk taxi drivers will now receive three points on their professional licence for vaping in their own car. Taxi and private hire vehicles licence. Doesn't say in their own car. In car, it says in car. <laughs> I assume it's the car they're in. Yeah, well, they they could be in another car, but they're still in a car. Yeah. yeah. Taxi and private hire drivers licensed by East Suffolk Council, to where we are, will now face three penalty points being added to their professional license if they are caught vaping within their vehicle. I wonder. Why, I wonder it? why. It's their workspace. They're not allowed to vape in the. You're not allowed to vape at work. Delirious. I mean, I saw the other day I was driving through town. I saw this this taxi, not like an Uber, right? like an actual taxi with a little thing on top, and um, just blow this fat cloud out of his window when he had passengers in there. I was thinking, like, look at it. I was like, that's a bit strange to see. Yeah. yeah. They're, with they're all Hackney. Li- I think every single that- one around here has got a Hackney license. I, think you ha- I don't know if you have to or whether there's no point having only a private license. I'm not sure because everyone's got a Hackney. So you can, you know, so you can wave it down. Why am I doing that? You know, what a wave is. What's a wave, <laughs> by the way? Oh, I always Hello. want. <laughs> yeah. Um, in an Uber, do you go to the person? Usually, I'm drunk when I'm in an Uber. I always say to them, <laughs> "Sorry, mate." I said, "Do you mind if I vape in here?" And they always like, "What?" I said, "You know, a little vape." And uh, they go, "Oh, yeah." You nine times out of ten, they say it's fine. They say as long yeah. as it's not one of those really big. Fl- uh, Smoky ones, and I, no, 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 it's just a little one. Next thing, never you know, asked. Like, I've probably yeah. done it. I think that's the. I think that's the reason that this thing has. They've made such a thing of it to stop people chucking clouds with customers in. Mm. Yeah, I think you know that, but, that's poor. Is, fall, isn't isn't it? it illegal to chuck clouds anyway in a car? Yeah, it falls under a different thing. The problem is this is one of those misinterpreted things on on vaping. It's not that it's nothing to do with vaping. It's about impairing anything. yourself from driving. It, it, yeah, anything yeah. that removes your hand from the wheel or it obscures your vision in any way. You can't. You, yeah. can, you can get. You can get pulled over for eating an apple. You can't eat an apple. You're not yeah. in full can control I, of the can vehicle. Can I pick my nose? No, you're not in full no. control of the vehicle. No. Well, now, or now, use that now. I can't. It's really itchy. Yeah. You literally. The, 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 the thing is, it, it, it's down to. The police's interpretation, and it's also, but there's another part of it. It's down to whether you're a massive prick as well. Yeah. Well, if you I go into one, apple. if you if you go into one with the person who pulls you over, 
like I- instantly, you probably you're probably going to be in trouble. If not, they're probably going to do a point, you know, do a quick quick inspection, quick registration check, and then just go, "Don't eat yeah. a fucking apple, mate," and then you'll go. You know, I, had, I have an apple. You. Fuck the police. I'm just trying to be healthy. Yeah, yeah, but you eat it with no hands. It's mad. You should mm. see it. He sent me a video of it. It's crazy. It, it's crazy. well, I, get, I stopped the apple bobbing because. <laughs> the, the bucket, the bucket, yeah. The water was like going like this, and seats are soaked. You think that thing in the news? I know it's going off on a tangent, and uh, John in the news, but so the go guy for... that got pulled over for drinking a can of Foster's while he was driving. Yeah, Who's that's he, all right, you know. It's not yeah, illegal. It's, no, not, it's illegal. not. He was under the limit. And I always assumed it was the same thing as uh, as America. I thought I heard it. You know, you can't have open containers of alcohol no, that's... in the UK. You can. Well, that again, there is there is uh, local there is local licensing laws. You, you, there is there's well, I can't remember where the fuck it is. But there is open beverage uh, laws in certain towns that you can't have an open container. So you know the American paper bag thing. They yeah. do have they, people do do that in America, and they can be taken off you if you've got a demonstration going on, like in London with the. Um, uh, Black Lives Matter, or you've got uh, what they call right wing maniac march, whatever it was on the Saturday. I was trying to be neutral. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Fucking crazy racists. Those. Um, <laughs> they would have uh, had, uh, there would have been a localized prohibition of alcohol and they, you, you, they could have removed any open containers, which is quite normal. Okay. And you will do fun, fall under the law then. Oh, uh, the London Underground is covered by the open uh, open alcohol container. Yeah, but uh, you Boris know why? You can't drink that's, on a tube because it? people used to get too no. pissed on a circle line doing the pub crawl. Yeah, well, it, it's the yeah, that's the ban thing is the open beverages. You, uh, 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 that was a Boris thing. Hmm. Was that the handiest thing he ever did? No, he fucked the ugly woman, got pregnant. Um, yeah, I like her. She's rough as a bag of span, isn't she? It's no, I think she's not. Nice. Like me and Vinny. Yeah, I think it might be Vinny, but we're gone. I'm not sure. I think um, your, your jaw's getting a little bit lost in the lockdown weight gain. Fuck you. <laughs> that it's is less rude. strong and more soft. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I I want to go, mate. Anyway, you were going to tell us all about... I'm going to tell you all about... The EU. Uh, the EU. Oh, yeah. EU <laughs> law. The Express. The paper of Diana Dying has said the EU ban. This is uh, this. I've called this the news in bullshit. By the way, the EU ban on menthol cigarettes sees smokers create dangerous DIY alternatives. Poll. There's a poll about this. Nearly one in eight of those craving the flavoured variety have attempted to make their own version to get round the legislation which came into effect on May 20th. Desperate smokers have created YouTube videos and online forums that they've created online forums to share tips on how to create homemade menthol cigarettes. Uh, users have turned to menthol flavored vaping e-liquids put on cigarettes, despite it being intended for electronic cigarettes. Uh, the owner of a convenience store Samantha said some customers are told that they would sprinkle their, e- e- their cigarettes with flavoured e-liquids prior to smoking them. I've been really shocked, she said, and concerned to hear that. I'm warning customers of the dangers of homemade alternatives. Just 20 B&H and uh, 10 ml of menthol. Uh, <laughs> as vaping liquids are not intended to be burned or inhaled. It demonstrates how dangerous it can be to ban a product that is in well, high demand. It's not flammable, though, is it? What's the problem? It is flammable. What? Are you liquid? Yes. Is it? Yes. Flashpoint's about 50 degrees on a uh, slightly lower for PG, about 40 for 50 degrees for VG. That's why I keep telling people, they tell them about turbo fucking. Uh, I've learned this thing called turbo steeping. You want to just put it in the microwave and just pulse it? Don't fucking do that. It is fucking <laughs> flammable, you fucking pain ass. Anyone who's ever used the Genesis knows because you set fire to the coil. So you know what's burning. The poll, anyway, commissioned by the Mol- Marlborough manufacturer, Philip Morris. Which yeah, but a cur- coil gets way hotter than that, and it doesn't set the juice on fire. It's about saturation. It, it doesn't make any difference. If you you know when it dries off, if you... If I had a puddle of e-liquid and I uh-huh. put a, light, a cigarette lighter to it, would yep. it go up? Yes. Awesome. Would it just burn like, you know, like hand sanitizer? It just burns a little bit. It doesn't like... 
go like gas. No, it won't go. It, 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 go, it burns like uh, oil in a... You know, if you've got like an oil lamp in the garden. It's not an explosion. And you put a wick in it, you could light it like that. It's, that, it's not... It's, the flashpoint's way above room temperature. It's not a problem. I'm going to have a um, go with this. Yeah, I'm I'm it doesn't aerosolize either. It doesn't come paper. Um, I'm going to blow a big cloud and then just put a light on there. <laughs> that won't do. <laughs> and I've got myself a flamethrower. No, have you never... You've never tried pulse the car, a coil that's had a little bit of helium and, it, and it's not set fire to itself? Yeah. Everyone's done that. No. I assumed it was just cotton residue or something stuck No, there. no, no. It's the e-liquid flammable. Never knew yeah. that. Nice. Um, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm the poll, the poll commissioned by definitely not bent mass killer Philip Morris, which also makes heated tobacco device ICOS, in case you do wondering, <laughs> I wonder who's paid for this story, mm. um, found 14% of the 308 adults surveyed, tiny fucking poll, um, continue to buy menthol cigarettes on sale illegally. From local retailers, why eleven percent opted to quit smoking altogether. What, how, how? What? What illegal retailers? Illegal retailers. What? Just a guy down no, a pub. If they've made a forum, it's called illegalretailers.co.uk. Uh, it's oh. gone there. Big thing. If you want to off license uh, just just uh, have you got any of their menthols left, pal? Yeah, that that's it. Wink. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, um, they've got at thirty-one percent of the smokers. <laughs> Said they had switched to or increased consumption of non menthol cigarettes. What the fuck? How does that even make any sense? Well, so it's almost like they shouldn't have banned it. Well, yeah, it's, it's 20% said they'd switched to or boosted their use of either menthol or non menthol electronic cigarettes. So, so I actually think the figure of people not making their fucking own crazy menthol cigarettes is lower than the um, people who've just switched to baking. It's like we said before about slightly less tasty heroin. Uh, it's really, yeah, it's not going to stop you. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not, it's not going to stop a heroin addict, is it, if they change no. the flavour? That's the, we, I think we've done different... Know it came flavoured. Well, you know what I'm talking about. It, it, it doesn't matter. give a flavoured version a try. It's one of the most addictive substances in the world, and the, the, when they talk about these things, it doesn't work like that. They, when they put the price of cigarettes up 20p, it's the same thing as your heroin dealer putting up 20p. You're not going to go around there and go, oh, mate, I don't know how it works. I've never done heroines. But if you said, can I have my normal bag? And they went, yeah, here you go. And you give them a tenner for their normal, your normal bag of heroines, and they went, it's 10, 20 now. You wouldn't go, fucking hell, mate. I'm not made of money. I'll drop it. No, 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 no. I'll no, leave no, it. No, no. <laughs> I'm quitting. <laughs> cold, cold turkey. <laughs> Yeah, come so with. I promise the wife it goes above ten ten. I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not. I'm not addicted anymore. <laughs> Let me shake your hand. You've been brilliant. See you later. <laughs> Say hi to the wife and kids. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> nonsense. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that was a poll sponsored by Icos or Philip. Well, I like we kill it. everybody, Morris. Um, very quickly, uh, we will say this. Uh, pretty inevitable, I guess. But the Hall of Vape on the seventh and eighth of oh. November in Stuttgart is officially cancelled now um, right. the 7th and 8th of November it's off, it's officially they've officially cancelled it, which pro- pro- almost definitely means the UK won the month before that Yeah. technically yeah. hasn't been cancelled yet, but it pretty mm. much guaranteed it's going to yes. be now I mean Germany are slightly ahead of us on all this stuff anyway That you know, their corona situation in spite of a few spikes um <laughs> is better than ours and they're cancelling that so uh, it looks like we're going to have an entire year with no expos wow well, well there was one in London you know yes oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. me oh. and Brad went to that oh yeah did you go down the pub in the end I can't remember no we, we ended no. up going on different days because oh. we're dumbasses and we didn't plan <laughs> properly <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, but but, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It's not Hall of Apes off. That's a fish, and we expect Expo to be cancelled. Yeah, I would just uh, yeah don't don't book hotel. Uh, yeah, so cancel your flights to Germany. That sucks. I couldn't believe when I read that. I was. I mean, in all fairness, when they first announced it, it was going to happen in November. I was kind of like, you know, not. 100% convinced, but I was hoping it would happen. Um, and then, uh, not sure if it was yesterday or the day before I read it, 
I was like, yeah, well, that's kind of expected. Yeah, when they announced that, I was same as you. I was convinced, not nah, never going to happen. But I built it up in my mind. I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Mm. Yeah, it's actually happened. It's happened. I was so excited. I was so excited. It must. They must have. They must have run into some issues to cancel it so early, or maybe they're just being kind and want to get rid of everyone's. You don't want to mm. cause anyone to book hotels or anything. I don't know. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I just. As a purely selfish thing, I think I've said this a few weeks ago, but it's true. <clears throat> I haven't seen my mates all year. It's kind of a bit <laughs> wanky. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, know. Well, I, I only see my mates four times a year. Hmm? I, can't, I can't remember the name of it. Vape, vape Fest, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, something like that would be good because it's outside. But... Still, yeah. t- it still wouldn't technically meet any of the current rules, would it? And Still once you get past, past August, season. weather's not guaranteed in the slightest, is it? So, yeah, they Why um... you go to a pub and you know, yeah, but even then, you're meant to be in a, a group of uh, six, no more than six households or something, isn't it? Or... Yeah, so it's impossible. Even our, if we did, if we'd have even, we, we at the start of the year, we were trying to put together the ideal vape show again, which was at the same time, early August, and uh, we kind of came to the decision by like, April and just said, oh, it's not going to happen. Uh, but that would still be against the rules and would be against the the next change even and the one after so it wouldn't make any difference it wouldn't happen happen until next year no um we'll do it wait yeah it's uh i honestly i'm sad i haven't seen my mate (laughs) yeah yeah no 100 percent. well never mind maybe we'll have a christmas party yeah (laughs) did it will you do it again um who's cooking the turkey i'll do it that's it much we got going around your house for turkey. It's an option. Oh, massive fucking oven. I'll just get Vinny in. Fuck that. He's a chef. He yeah, actually fucking... cooks properly, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what colours your gravy, Vinny? Wouldn't... Oh, mate, I love... I'll make a good gravy. Is I'm it not brown? I'm not saying I'm a great chef, but I'll make a good gravy. I use, like, a lot of red wine in my gravy. Is so... it brown? It's like a deep red. Even yeah. if, what you were doing, if you were doing a chicken, what colour would your gravy be? Really no, brown. 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 Fair enough. And what, where does ham come from? Ham comes from pigs. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good joke that only about only a few of us got. If you know, if you don't, it's from that. It, sh- you were on a real TV show, weren't you? Is it from? You were on a TV show. Do you remember? Oh, that was, that, yeah, remember that's that. where that's where I got the ham joke from. I won't post the link, but I have seen it. Right. Oh, you actually question. I was thinking, wait a minute, is that a trick question? I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I do like that clip of you on the show. Yeah, how long? How old were you? Like eighteen then, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I said way worse stuff than that when I was eighteen. That's nothing. Uh, Everyone's gonna go. What fucking show is that? New stuff. We need to talk about vaping. So, so okay. I'm gonna show some new so stuff I, on screen. Can now. I just go to the? Can I just go to the? Quickly go to this. Oh, what is it? To say I'm gonna do it. I was just gonna do. I, I've got. I have got the new EVL Alien in my hand, which is the billet box. The new billet box insert from EVL. Oh uh, yeah, British, what's it bit like? British design. <laughs> I broke my billet box today. I was setting it up to do this, and I was trying to set up a shot, and the screen was a bit misty, so I took the faceplate off, and I got my thumb underneath it to take it off, and I pulled the screen off the DNA. So I completely fucked it. Um, I was absolutely gutted and couldn't do the thing. I was apologising to John. Just broke my billet box. I'm really sorry. I can't even give you any feedback. Um, uh, just let me know who you want me to send it to, and I'll send it. I fucked up. I need to get it fixed. So I had two really cool things. Uh, first, I messaged Anthony at at brilliant Anthony Morris at Elemental Mods, who does refurbs on billet boxes. And I went, I oh, really need this done. Um, I've got to send it to Lithuania, which is fine because he's the best billet box guy there is. So I was like, I really need this overhaul. And he said, Cool, send it. And I said, said I can't do the review anymore. And then an Omi. An, an awesome Omi, Mark. But I'm gonna don't let me. I hope it's right. Mark Boy uh, sent me. Uh, said he'd lend me his billet box. So he's sending it to me in the post tomorrow, and I'll get it in a couple of days, and I'll have it on the show next week. Right, nice. Richard. Hey, what is the USP of that billet? The USP is nothing. Of the is alien. It? What's the point of it? I mean, there's so well, many of them. What's its USP? Well, the deck is the same as the much love uh, Reaper. Reaper. Ooh. Number one. Um, it's a solid. It is a one piece, so it's no. It doesn't go in a tank. It is the tank. This is oh. it's all one bit. 
Um, well, one of the USPs is it's fucking gorgeous as well. Um, I don't we think actually, that's important. It is. It's really important. Um, What's going behind oh. a door? <laughs> it, it doesn't have to. You can get a clear door. A lot uh, happens you behind can the get door. A clear door. You can get a clear door. It's uh, it's it's well, it's it's designed in the UK uh, by John. It's a it's British, which is brilliant. He's one of the only people who still does stuff in the UK. Wow. It's worth having, and um, uh, I just think it's. I, I think it's. It sounds it's, amazing. For we'll find out probably next week, I guess. Yeah, we will. Uh, Mark's already got a review out for. Or, yeah, he yeah, probably one he one. rushes his oh. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rushing this. I'm getting a real feel you, for you, it. You talk a lot of smack when Mark's not in chat. Yeah, he's uh, not in tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, cool. <laughs> this is birthday. Right. Anyway, go for your new stuff, and I'll get that done. Okay, okay, okay. Right, here we go. This is this is lost vape are back. Where have back. they been? They're lost. Oh. We're lost. Well, they we're they now. come and go, don't they? But this is a new thing from them, and they've got another new thing coming as well. But uh, they haven't started showing pictures of it as well. But this is a new thing from Lost Vape. It is called the BTB. Before it comes on screen, do you guys want to guess what that stands for? BTB. Yeah. Beat the bastard. Bind, really. Bind torture beat. Uh, As that's a serial killer joke. It's quite good at beat the beats, beats. Uh, no, it stands for back, back to well. basics. Uh, oh. It's in that simplistic design um, that uh, is a factual thing. I don't know. It looks okay. It, it, it looks like one of their lower end things. That you know they did Lost Vape. They do some good stuff. They do some lower end mm. stuff. It looks like one of their. It looks like it looks like a weird cricket bat. Is what it looks like. Yes, yeah, it, it does. Exactly it looks a like denim a cricket bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it and also, and I will say this about the design, and, and purely based on this one picture, the tank on top. Now, if that's twenty-four, fine. If that's twenty-two, fine. Whatever. No other tank size will ever look good on that mod. No. So whatever that tank is, you'll have to put the exact same width on mm. for it to look it okay. Because like, you don't want a ledge on that open. design. No. It, it, look, it looks like it could fall over quite easily. Yeah, it looks a bit narrow. Very, yeah, yeah, narrow. That's it. I was going to say thin, but narrow. Yeah. So it's a weird choice. I don't hate it, but it's a f yeah. I don't. I think it'll be. I don't think it'll be expen one of their expensive pieces. It looks like a cricket bat for a for those for a Wii like <laughs> a games <laughs> controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be ace. Hmm. Okay, John, you know more about this one than me. This is the Robo 2000 Vape Color Cleaning and Drying Machine. It can't yeah. possibly work. Don't buy it. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was well, tricked. Cause... I don't know anything about it. I copied it off your Facebook thing, and, and it's on screen now, so tell everyone about this. So if you want to see it at Who makes work, it? Uh, it's really inconsequential, because I'm just going to get to the point with it. Um, I, Grim, uh, Grim Green's got a review out for it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth a watch. Uh, now, the way I thought it worked and the way it does work are not the same thing, it turns out. It looked, to me, like rather than being... Because um, I was just looking at it in the way Nick was putting the coils uh, through it, it looked like the coils sat up with the, with the, with the sort of intake, um, the, the almost mouthpiece, the bits connected to the mouthpiece, down. That's what it looked like to me when he was setting it up to clean stuff. And then setting it up, pressing go, and it goes through a wash cycle, and then it goes through a clean cycle. So I thought, right, <clears throat> it's obviously some sort of water jet up through the center, and it's pushing any shit out of the coil, and then it's going through a dry. You pull the water out, they put it on dry, and it blows air through it, it dries air. I thought, that's not bad. I mean, that could work. Excellent. And uh, people kept saying, oh, it's just an ultrasonic cleaner. I was like, it isn't. This is the future. Well, I was like, it's worth a go. It's like $50 to get onto a Kickstarter, basically. So oh, it's wicked. wicked, wicked. <clears throat> and then Mark White sent me a message, just said, it is an ultrasonic cleaner. And I put, no, 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 no. What you do is obviously pushing up water through it. And then he sent me a picture that he'd clipped off their, their own video. And the bottom plate is totally solid. So what I said is totally impossible. It's an ultrasonic cleaner. It cannot possibly work. It is impossible that it works. Oh, but what did Nick say? It works. Right. It, I mean, it could work a bit. It's just no longevity. It, it, would, it. it would work as much as you running it under attack. Uh, and it then putting it on a radio. Yeah. Same thing. 
It's just to save for an away. Yeah, it's yeah. to rejuvenate uh, your coil heads. Re- re- rejuvenate coil heads, yeah. Yeah. And I, when I thought it well, worked like, the way I thought it worked. Heads. Yeah. But if it worked the way I thought it did, and you kind of almost kind of screwed it down, and so the water was being. So it's basically pushing the water in reverse of the way the liquid would. It would get rid of particles. But what cleaning fluid are they using in it? Because that water, cleaning fluid, pure water. pure water. Water. But an ultrasonic water. cleaner don't use those tablets. You can't do like steroid or whatever. Yeah. So either way, so it's, it's literally impossible. putting it's literally putting your coil head in a dishwasher, and not putting a tablet. in. Not as good as dishwasher. Dishwasher is more effective. So, how long are they saying that it can extend the life of your average? About an hour. Nick, Nick said. Nick said. A, <laughs> Nick, said a, Nick said a week. Okay. Fifty dollars for a week. No, no, because you... obviously, if it, if it was real, it would, and you were going through a coil every two weeks. I wonder what else and it then could you'll do. Get three weeks out of it. It might that's like a pretty good egg that. boiler. Yeah, that's what uh, Dion said. I think you could, if you're really into like cock rings or something like that, that'd be brilliant for that. Yes, yeah, you could sterilize, sterilize your piercings. Um, you could probably piercings. use it for a rash. Sounds wrong when I say it, doesn't it? Um, yeah. Okay, so that's the Robocock. Um, it can't work. It, it can't machine. work. No, it doesn't work. It's a, it it's a catchy name, Robo 2020 Vape Coil Cleaning and Drying Machine. It's not bad. Either it looks yeah. quite funky, and if, if it worked to my. If, if anyone thing. is still curious, go to the website www.robo. It's fifty five dollars, which works machine. out. Com. That's what thirty quid, thirty five quid. If anyone wants to make one that squirts water, maybe John will be interested. That would work. It would cost a shitload more. I was well, well surprised. You need a, all you need is a horse pipe and a hair dryer. I was going to say yeah, for John's it plan. <laughs> if it if it worked, yeah. no, because you could just because you just fill that with warm water. Basically, what you want is a really small neighbour comes um, round. What are you doing there, John? Pond pump. I'm just, uh, just cleaning the car head of the hose pipe. A, a fish tank pump and a, te- and a 10 watt light bulb. Yeah. An, easy okay. bake, an easy bake oven and a fish tank. Or get tank another coil head for a quid. I agree. That's <laughs> what I got to. I, I just chuck it in the fucking bin and get another one. I, it, just, it, was, it was a good idea to save people money, but there's no point doing that. Won't work. I think if, if coil heads were more expensive than they are, then yeah, possibly. But I mean, coil some heads. Of are... them, some of them are. I will say, some coil heads are a fiver each. That's quite a lot. If you're, if you, if you're, what I what coil get, heads are these? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, how much is a, how much are beast coils then? When you work it out, I think they work out as three quid each. It's usually ten for four, aren't they? The most expensive ones. So that's two pound fifty. No, and uh, somebody give me some price. I, I think they are can get quite price. Depends we buy. Maybe, them. maybe. I don't know. I don't buy them. People I know. Them the free. other thing is, <clears throat> we're part of a community, so we know how long something should last. But I've met vapors who aren't part of anything and it's quite normal to they'll say something like i had a really good coil the other day it lasted four days and you go what the fuck were you putting in it and they've got and the liquid they've got is called super magic sunshine christmas circus and it's i've tried that one i (laughs) I knew you were gonna do it i was already (laughs) laughing he's such a dick um anyway and it's got it's like basically it's basically sugar with nicotine in it yeah it's a tank cracker as well (laughs) and it's blowing their coil out every couple of days but then because they don't know how the fuck would you know yeah fair play well okay let's not dwell on the robot yeah it don't work 2020 um the (laughs) the the guys at damn vape have a new sub ohm tank have you got this one Vinny? Have you been sent this? The Dam Vape Wotan? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. No. It's it's, the only thing that <laughs> caught, caught my eye about this is they're, go, they're having another go at these coil heads. If you look at the bottom of the picture, it shows the coil heads. And it's mesh ish, but it's in a cone. A cone Mesh-ish. shape. I used to know that. I've got little cone. bits that look like that. Yes, it's in a cone. It's a slightly cone ish. Oh, okay. Uh, so I do kind of wonder what that vape's like. No, I've not got that coming. Um, so that's an actual thing. And as Vinny has already showed us, the uh, Druga Two was it? It was the Druga Two, wasn't it, Vinny? Yeah. The yeah. Druga Two uh, is coming out this week, apparently. Uh, so that's that. I liked the original one. And um, we showed this oh, on the group. I'm going a bit fast now. We, I showed this on the group as well. Um, this is the Nautilus Prime. Uh, you can put Prime on anything, can't you? And it sounds yeah. cool. 
It's, yeah. it's like Amazon Prime. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Sounds um, cool. Prime. All it does is make you order shit yeah. constantly. I do it. I don't care. I wonder yeah. what that does. I'll order one. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know what it does. <laughs> oh, shit. Take it a bit. Do it this is... I think some people will dig this Nautilus Prime, you know? Because they, they, oh, already, they already... If they already like Nautilus... They trust the coils. They know it'll vape how they want it to. Mm-hmm. I think this might be some people's new pub thing. Do you know what? I got a, I got a comment the other day of someone telling me that they're going to discontinue making the Nautilus coils or something. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to stop making money. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, and I obviously, I didn't hear anything about that previous. Um, and I was like, why? That's not one of the most popular coils for people. Yeah. I think they've sold something like 400 million Nautilus coils. Yeah, why the fuck would you ever? It's just well, I mean, oh, you just keep money. bringing out new devices that fit it. That's what you do. You just carry on. Um, <laughs> the interesting thing with this is, I haven't got why I haven't seen one, but um, I hope that they've had the intelligence to nail the airflow to the same specification of the tank that everyone liked rather than just going off on a wild tangent with the airflow. Because you can yeah. very quickly ruin a vape by messing up is the airflow. Is not you? adjustable airflow in the middle there? It has got adjustable airflow. Yeah, but it's just whether like, it feels the same. Is I know my what you kind mean. of point. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like well, I think the best tank, but it was fuck ugly, is the Nautilus Two. Is not an attractive, it, it, like a not as bad as the original Nautilus that was fuck ugly, and then when the Nautilus Two came out with a little balaclava on. Is, is, oh, a, is a weird and, look. Oh, and the penis tank. tank. That was the first one, yeah, the cock <laughs> tank. That was amazing. Mm. And you could get the weird, you could upgrade and get the weird, horrible filigree. You needed, you had to get one of those uh, Live Life Love posters. You got it free. Well, they did the, the they tank. did the like cross hatch one as well. Oh, anyway. That's, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. And then they that, that that's when you need the Live Life Love. Just that, or a cat hanging up. It's a thing. There. It's a thing. I think some people will dig that. It's a thing. Yeah, Karen's. Uh, ooh, uh, Artery. The guys at Artery have started teasing the new Artery Nugget Plus. This is going to be a completely transparent AIO. Um, exactly what we were all sort of asking for, really. Yeah. Um, when is someone going to make this completely transparent? Uh, so that looks interesting. That's coming soon. Also from Artery. Oh, you're being oh. a funny fucker because we couldn't see the picture. That's quite good. I like it. Uh, also coming from Artery is the Artery Pal GX. Um, this takes their traditional Pal system and puts it in a sort of smaller body, a bit like the one Brad did from Vaporesso recently. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, we have we have we got a Brad review today, Brad? No, we don't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they have do already been that box and stuff. Oh, no, it's no worries. In the small stuff. body, big capacity. Sounds like my ex. Mm. <laughs> like a camel. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a weird joke. <laughs> I just made myself sound like a pedo or something, but no. Um, okay, this is a new thing from Freemax, and this is the Twist 30 Watt. Uh, ages ago, they did the Twist 80 Watt. This is a 30 Watt version. Um, and like the old spinners, you twist it at the bottom, and it's got the wattage along the bottom. Yeah. Pretty. Like the it's old... a thing. It's a Vinny, thing. Vinny can't wait for any oh. of these. I can see it. He is chomping at the bit. Do you know what? I actually, I that twist. I like the eighty watt version. I've got to say. It kind of reminds me of the Inakin. I think it was one four seven or something. It was a big yep. fuck off device. Oh I mean, yes, I, yes, yeah. One three four. Yeah, that's it. It was the most expensive device I bought when I first started vaping. Yeah. And I used to walk around town with it, and it looked like a fucking lightsaber, but I loved it. Yeah. That yeah, was just yeah. after the grenade nightmare, wasn't it? When they yeah, made it's the- about oh. the same time, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, two, wasn't it? That yeah. was a fucking unbelievable fucking mistake. <laughs> I, had remember- a, I had a Cool Fire 1, which was locked at 8.5 watts. Yes, I do remember that. That's a wicked one, the Cool Fire 1. I, I just love that that's oh, uh, we can only have this mod at one wattage. What yep. wattage? And they just got around the table and went, it's got to be 8.5. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, oh, Doug, what yep, were you... yep, yeah, you're right. It's April Fool's. Look, are we stuck with this? They had though. That was wicked. <laughs> I imagine they all split up on one side of the conference center each, and they went right. So you all think eight, <laughs> you all think nine. Let me count you. Right, fucking hell. Eight point five. Well, all right then. <laughs> it's went with it. Guys, they ran the factory. We've done it. Okay, what are you going with? Uh, eight point five. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> We, no we'd already made it 10 because no we just thought you'd want 10. It's, it's yeah, a round it's big number. number. Yeah, just tell them it's 8.5. Not going back in there. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the twist from Freemax. It'll be really good, this, and it'll be the sort of thing that normal people use, not us lot. It'll be the sort no. of thing and that what real vapors use. To, where, what did it twist up to? It'll Hundred twist watt. up to 30 watts, this one. But the oh, old okay. one is to twist with... up to 80. With the right coil, you could do all right with that, and someone could. It'll feel be a like cracker. It'll be a cracker. This, this, you'll be seeing this up and down bus shelters, um, for many a month <laughs> after its release. You went really northern then. It was amazing. That's how, That's where you see them. That's where you see real vapors using real e cigs. What's a bus shelter? Like? None of this. It's, it's where you wait wait for a bus to come. The local local kids burn oh. hours down. I'm sorry, I thought you said bush, as in like, bush. <laughs> oh, that, it's, uh, that, that's where you put an umbrella above a hedge to keep it dry. That's where all the porn used to be, in the bush shelter. What is it? <laughs> bush shelter. Oh, okay, fair enough. It's over there. Sorry, dude. Uh, no worries. So that's all the new stuff, and there's no Brad's review, so we need to grill Vinny. Grill it, yeah. Vinny? I think we need to do a quick reintroduction of Vinny as well, because uh, uh, I know somebody asked in chat, but we're going to go through it again. Oh, well, let's do the couple of boring questions. Vinny, when did you start vaping? Oh, about six years ago now. Six years. And what, what set up... Oh, you, that was your first real device. What set up stopped you smoking? Or oh, were you a dual fuel? Um, I mean, it was a it was a kit. Yeah. Basically, I, went, I was in a pub up in the new forest and some geezer was vaping inside and I was amazed because he was doing it inside by the bar nice and warm and I had a pissed off outside in the rain having a cigarette so I went up to him started talking about it and then on the way home the next day I stopped off at a petrol station and I got myself a flavor ego style pen yeah nice nice nice, nice. and you, did you quit smoking there and then or was it a dual fuel for a while or um, I probably had the occasional cigarette, but it was mainly just mm. straight with that. What, what was your cigarette, though, before that? What was your Marble brand? Um, Richmond, usually. Ah, oh, I was going with more Reliant. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong, I like the occasional... Uh, I used to, I got into, like, Lucky Strike Red. Nice. Like, That's a good mm-hmm. cigarette. That was, they, that they, was stink. Poison. they stink to everybody else, but they are a good yeah. cigarette. It was very smooth. It was like a nice, nice brandy, nice whiskey. Yeah, you you could smell me coming. Yeah. <laughs> I was Benson. Oh, Benson. Benson Edge is gold or Rollies. That was the. Thing. What was oh, the What was the main? Brand, what was the big brand in South Africa, Brad? Was it all the same uh, as here? Yeah, exactly the same. Marlboro, uh, not like Camel. And camel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got Camel. B and A. We don't really smoke Camel. Uh, Lucky Strike, but Marlboro was the big one. Mm. Yeah. Um, what what was your fl- e-liquid flavour of choice back when you stopped, started, stopped, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I think the first one I ever tried was watermelon. And it was amazing, you know, it didn't leave a horrible taste in your mouth like a cigarette dud did. Um, but then I just went solely on blueberry. I was all about the blueberry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't really, it's, not, it's it one of those some... things that trended out, wasn't it? Blueberry oh. came and bucked off. It was simpler um, times back then. You just had blueberry, watermelon. This it wasn't a yeah. cacophony of flavors. It was you bought blueberry flavor. Period. And sometimes you would see a strawberry and kiwi, and you'd be like, "What the fuck's going on here? Yeah, well done, Who's mixing you know? those two together?" Yeah, we've gone down <laughs> to crazy town. I remember when somebody first went, "We've made custard." Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What are we talking about? <laughs> it does tobacco. sound mad, though, doesn't it? We've got cherry and we've got mint. We're done. We it does did sound it. mad though. Custard does sound mad. Mm. <clears throat> I remember trying it, and it was Grant and me go, <clears throat> "That's not custard." I mean, you wouldn't it. smoke a custard cigarette. No. You know, like what? I mean, I'm out. I mean, <laughs> you well. wouldn't. But <laughs> I used to rip it open like they're doing now, with the menthols gone. Get a bit of bird's custard powder. Yeah, yeah, you bang. can just lace it like secret. Oh, <laughs> <you want> <laughs> custard powder. <laughs> 
<laughs> someone, someone made a quite a good joke in chat when we were talking about how would you ask for menthol, you know, like in an illegal shop. And I think they went with, you got any of them, any of them, any of them smoky polos. And they go, <laughs> oh, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Um, <clears throat> what do you do, Fred? Uh, <laughs> what, what do you do for a living, Vinny? They're asking. But you were already kind of, we've knocked on it. Oh, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Uh, are you? Are you? Have you been on furlough since the thing, or are you yeah. back now? Yeah, no, I have because I had. Um, I don't know why I always think to say meningitis. I never had that. I had uh, pneumonia as a kid, so whenever I get like a cold or a flu, I it Fuck. really fucking gets me. Yeah. So, oh, so you're uh, shielded? Somewhat, yeah. So I, yeah. I guess at risk. I think they call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in all fairness, no more than anyone else, really. I suppose. Just so what you're saying is you're weak and feeble and had to stay indoors. I so know. As, so as, you, as the your restaurant opened without you then? Um, I did not really because I'm the only one that can cook, like make pizzas and 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 cook and stuff like that. So yeah, right. But, okay. It's uh, I think it's uh the. Obviously, the major thing is staying safe. Oh, we, uh, Craig used to be on the show. He's also in the same position. He can't. He he's shielded too. Um, they're looking at August, aren't you? Is that what they're mm. saying? Current guidance shielding is it August or September? I can't remember. That's the end of August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully we're back and and doing stuff. Um, Do you know what? We... I just can't wait for the fucking events to start. Because that was such a highlight. I, I this year, I mean, I was it, was it was simpler times back in January. I was thinking, yeah, if I go to the one in London, then I'm going to go to all of them. You know, in yeah. Europe, in the UK, you're going to yeah. do all of the events. And now it's like, well, 2020 is fucked. Yeah, I yeah. know what you mean. We we I sit and plan. It, and... it gives you that little energy boost when you have a good time at a vape event. It sort of re-energizes your vaping journey, doesn't it? Yeah, it's when funny. I come back, I get excited to make all the reviews again. You know, yeah. not, not that I don't get excited now. It's just, I know it's, it's a different, it's a different that. thing. And you kind of, I always, by the time it's this is the first time in how long we're doing the show? Six years. So the first time in six, five or six years where normally uh, Expo the Return, I'm normally fucking knackered by Expo the Return, and I think, oh, I better go up there. I better go. And then I go, have a great time, fuck off on Sunday morning, I'm not daft. Get home, absolutely knackered. But I've kind of seen all my mates for like for for like a few months, you know? You yeah. sort of started seeing them in in late spring and then seen them again and then like last summer obviously we did uh, uh you you came to the return in the end, didn't you, Richard? I can't remember. Did you come yep. to the return? Yeah. We did our show and then we did the return and then, then you know, then it's like the downhill till Christmas. But this year it's like and that's where we met you, actually, uh, uh, the NEC. I think the first time I ever saw you was at the oh, NEC. Oh, no. It was, but I, de- I didn't jam. know you. No, Jam. No, it was Jam. It was Jam. You know, I think the first time I talked jam to you was at Jam. But the first time I saw you was at Expo. Uh, was at, uh, he, he was he was in the bushes, hiding under no, the, no. The, shit, the, the bush shelter. You were doing a... I know, I can tell, I can know what it was because my mate stood behind you. My mate Graham is in one of your videos at Expo um, because you were you were trying a liquid. You were the first time I'd ever seen anyone with a selfie stick in the UK. You'd got a yeah, that's your tra- that's your trademark, isn't it? I think you'd got a selfie stick. I could take you to the stall. I can't know what the fuck it was, and you've got a selfie stick out in front of you, and you were like fully chatting away to the camera and to the guy. You were like, all right, oh, really? And you're wearing like camo, I think, at the time. Oh, okay. So you are talking about me. I, f- I started thinking he was talking about Richard. I was like, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Definitely you. <laughs> I know the first time I ever met Richard. Um, you were... Do you feel like you've been stalked a little, Vinny? No, not at all. Not at all. I just <laughs> yeah, that was the first time I met you. think it was Jam. That's all. No, but... no, it was Expo. But I didn't I didn't know who you were. I just thought, fuck, this guy's like, 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 what you were the. That, that... You were like electric watching you do it. I yeah. did it, everybody. We've spoken about this before when you've not been on the show. Um, when we were talking to... Oh, crap. He's moved to the other show. Who's our singing friend? Uh, little bro. Little bro. Aiden. When, 
Aiden from Little Bro was oh, on. Yeah, yeah. He said it perfectly. He said nobody does it like Vinny. Nobody does it like oh. Vinny. He's yeah. not, you know the secret? Not, I just I, I snort some coffee beans and <laughs> go away, man. <laughs> no, he was like, no, but it was yeah, like complete admiration because you just go do the event. You're back in the hotel room editing the video, like in the evening. And he said he'd never seen, like, never, it was amazing. And the next day, this is like fully polished video out. It's not like a piece of shit. Not like one of these people <laughs> who goes, oh, see, you. Yeah, and just posts the garbage fucking draft they've done. This was clean cuts, yeah, everything. It was a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, see, I don't know. I, so before I went to Vape Jam, the original one, I started looking at vlogs for it to kind of psych myself up, get excited. I wanted to see what it was all about. Um, and uh, I, I noticed that the dates didn't really coincide with the event. It was always like several weeks after the event when the yeah. video actually come out. And I was thinking, but surely people know, like if they couldn't get to the event, then they would go online to see videos for it. And I just, I, I never understood why it would take so many weeks after the event actually happened before a vlog come out for it. You haven't seen how drunk I get, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, fuck all coming off me. Mate, to be honest, I used to be so on my best behavior you, you know? really were yeah I, I i used to think no i'm going there i've got to do that it's not like a party oh, fun yeah, thing you've got, I'm you've going got to go work mode don't you but just uh as time's gone on it's become more i'm at these events and i'm professional i guess for like a few hours you're a professional you yeah, drinking. Well. and then when you start drinking i i, I think I'm just going to end the video here, you know, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good enough. It'll the, do. the social has begun. Yeah. yeah. The same, I'd be, yeah, well, I'd go for that. I normally, if I've got some business to do, I've just, I've got to walk in, don't talk to anybody else, go and find the person I want to do a deal with. We'll talk numbers. Okay, but they'll go, okay, well, I don't know, they'll go, they'll go, they'll go, they'll go yeah, done, I've got to high five this, fuck off. <laughs> We're going, John, there's a pub outside, sit a bit, and then I'll be shit <laughs> It's just that every time I see you, John, it, since the first time, it, you're never at the you're never at the event anymore. It's no. all well, no, so, sorry, that's a lie. You're either at the <laughs> bar at the event, or you're at the Weatherspoons outside of the event. And I'm like, there's event going on. <laughs> but I've seen everything. The thing, like I've seen everything in there, and I'm going. And and we know we 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 kind of got it from the first show we ever did i don't even know how many i've been to now no no clue um from the first time we ever did one <clears throat> we kind of worked out after the first year what people wanted from us from us as a channel or from us as the show and they, they just wanted to chat they just wanted to sit down with you and so we just kind of it, it just made so much more sense to do what you've got to do or what if there was something new out and i do generally do do a few laps of the event and and see what i want to see or what's in my bit in my brain or and see you know go and see who friends who are working and then people who want to watch people who watch the show every week just want to sit down and have a have a, have a chat and so normally we've got like five or six tables outside the pub and everybody sat down and we just done that like it just became a thing where we took over different pubs around the like, like the jam and became shit and this year to be honest it was almost thankful it was cancelled because it was going to be bad jam this year was going to be a, f a bad event <clears throat> See, i always look forward to jam because it was my first event so it was nostalgia yeah i really like i really like jam because of its location and stuff but not the actual event no i kind of went year, off the fox is the yeah. fox has closed down hasn't it uh, someone it's turned, on, to a, it's turned into a Tesco's Express. Has it really? Yeah, it was a temporary Tesco's tent outside. Oh, is that what it is? It's not only temporary. Temporary. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it turned into Tesco's Express. Nah. Yeah, otherwise, there was literally no point in going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's tricky. I've done both. I've done it as a big social, but the uh, the second expo I did as a proper vlog, where it dedicated my actual time to doing the, a proper video for the show and uh, I, I enjoyed both but it's near impossible to blend the two it's you near know, impossible yeah, to sit and have a chat with people and then suddenly pick up your camera and wander off you know it's, yeah. it's very very difficult i think when you get out of that mode of of filming and then you get into that social just chilling mode it yeah it's very hard to then 
get that creative motivation to yeah. then start filming again. Um, the, the, the thing is, else, you're but... both, you're both, <clears> that you're both, however you want to say this, it's not in inverted commas, I only did them, but this, that's not true. You're both professional reviewers. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not. I, I have just been, I, I've just run groups and been part of the community for six or so years and me just talking is stuff I do know I do know a fair bit about the business and now obviously we I own the company um but, but <clears throat> there's no expectation for me I don't have to film anything I normally take a few shots as I'm going in take a few shots of like with some friends or people ask me for selfies and stuff in the show which I, I it, I've never ever said no I don't think no um uh, I've even been licked or something <laughs> broke my ribs or yeah. whatever. But I don't my but, I, but that's what I'm there for. I haven't got to do what you've, you you two have got to do. People are expecting professional camera work and you talking to people. People just want to high five me or give me a hug or take a picture or buy me a beer. Like, oh. The last the last few times I've just made it a social. Yeah, that's all I do. But that's always been what I do. And even if I was doing a video. I would, I would never have the balls to do it like Vinny does it, where he literally films himself at a stand trying yes, to use his new kits and things like that. I can't bring myself to talk to those people. I, I think you were the first person to ever do that, like in that way. Yeah, I, In the UK, no 100%. Never seen anybody film themselves. I appreciate that, man. Um, I mean, to be honest, people have asked me, um, don't you feel uncomfortable doing it? Like not 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 even just so much. At, well, yeah, at the event, but even outside of the event, going at the hotel, things like that. And I say, well, I don't know. You just got to do it. Once you hit yeah. that record, you can yeah, just yeah. you know you just got to talk. Um, so yeah, the first time I was doing it, I remember I walked past out of my hotel. I walked past a, a, a building lot. Um, they were doing some sort of maintenance. And I was, and I just kind of walked past in my own little mind. And after watching the footage back, I was like, "That's cringy as fuck." Mm. <laughs> but that's it's that I get um, people who are totally outside the industry and stuff like that. Sometimes some shots will slip onto my actual Facebook thing, and like, I'll get a mate in a pub or say, like one of my mates will go, uh, uh, "You think you're famous?" And I go, "No." And they go, yeah, yeah. And I go, no. I know you're in your head. That's you. That's you projecting. I'm not bothered. I don't care what you reckon. It doesn't really make any difference. If somebody asks for a picture or a cuddle or something, you're not going to go, no, fuck off. They just, it's fine. They just watch you every week, or they and they and they think you they you must get this video as well. People come up to you at the shows. You're their mate. They've seen no, you. No, exactly. It's not. I I never thought fame fame's never come into my head because i because anyone can make a youtube video anyone can record stuff and put it online i think people that uh, you know that i would class as probably famous is more those that are, that are across the sea not because they've got bigger channels just because when you're in the uk you'll never see those people as often you know it's rare mm. if you bump into them at an event yeah but, um, some, some of them it's gone to their head <laughs> <laughs> some of them lots of like yeah, I've spoken about it before. Sam is one of my favourite people. <laughs> Logan is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, but I mean, if, yeah, but he walks into a pub in London, or even a pub where he lives, it wouldn't. Yeah, no one cares. No one would know. It's not no. true. It's not real, is it? It's not. No. It's, it's within an, an incredibly small but, niche. But he, but he's got that in his head. There is a few people. Oh in yeah, he's he's do not yeah, he's the most down to earth person yeah. ever. Yeah. Oh, he was. Uh, Sam's wicked. You can see, like, you, we, there are people who get one follower and it goes to their head. <laughs> yeah, we've spent time with them in pubs. Like, the yeah. fuck is that guy doing? There was a girl next to me who was an Instagrammer at one of the uh, outside the Fox. I was sat outside the Fox, I was waiting for some people and I was on the phone, like, oh, whereabouts are you? It's a fuckhead to get to the Fox. And, so and um, she said, uh, she said to her friend, oh, in a perfectly normal voice, not quite as cut as mine she said um oh i've got to do i've got to just do this video hold on one second and they went and they went yeah yeah it's fine she held the phone out and she went oh my god i'm a dream jam and it's mental and i've got a peach cobbler and it's fucking mad Ooh! and you're like oh i love fucking hell <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> down i want to get a fire extinguisher yeah but fair bitch. play that is her doing her job though oh yeah it was just yeah. demented you, you, it just looks demented when you you abstract yourself. It was from the it. juxtaposition of yeah. a character which I wasn't expecting at yeah. all. 
weird character. Um, you have to commit to 100% to camera like that, otherwise it's just fucking cringy. Yeah, yeah it would look bad. Yeah, it uh, it more questions for Vinny. Though. Has anybody got any um, questions? I, each I have. What's what's coming up, Vinny? What's the plan? Are you just just ticking over? Are you just doing your reviews and or yeah, big changes um, coming or anything like that? I don't know. I mean, I've redone my whole studio just shitload of sound paneling sort out the audio and stuff obviously i'm not in the studio now because my one isn't set up for lives anymore um i mean this is the first live i've done in i've probably since the last time i was yeah. on your show oh wow um and yeah it's just it's not really something i do i mean i've spoke like people have asked if i would do another live show but i mean like your show's established it's been going for years there's so many shows. There's so many live there's shows loads, yeah. on YouTube, yeah. Facebook, everywhere. Like, honestly, there's new ones every day. It feels like. And I just think, how will my show be any different to anyone I else? Like, I, I love the way you set up your videos. There's a very distinct style to your reviews. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, I, I, I'm, uh, over the years, I've obviously thinned out the people who i'm sub to and you're not one you're one of the people i'm sub to you oh. have a this set but, but the thing is so finny you, you have this way of doing it i know what i'm going to get because there's almost a teaser before the 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 um the ident runs and then you do this and then you do the whole thing so i know what i'm going to get from or if it's something i fancy you know or something i should know about because sometimes i have to watch a review because it's something i know richard's going to bring it up or it's going to be big in the uk but it's not really my kind of thing but I, I should really watch it and i think you get that from your reviews richard does himself down all the time and reckons he's shit but he isn't and he, he's great i've always said i think richard is he he kind of he gets the Let's point talk across. About him like he's not here. Yeah, no, no. But in all fairness, <laughs> he, he gets the point across, and and you know, for someone watching it, whether they're a new vapor or an old vapor, they all can follow along. Yeah, uh, they all understand it, and that's I think that's what is a hard thing to do. Mm. Uh, in terms of oh yeah, get... and you, you've also got a juice line, Mark. Is saying, have you got a juice line? Oh yeah, did you do the juice line? Oh, sorry, no, that was just like a limited run thing. Oh, it was a, uh, wasn't it? Because it was boxing, was it a boxing thing? Um, yeah, it was kind of a boxing thing. It was champ sauce. It was kind of like yeah, this, yeah, that was it. That was that. it. Um, I mean, the money I made from it, I kind of like donate some of that to charity and stuff. I didn't want to make that a big deal. Oh, that's really cool. Um, yeah, fuck that. Well, you don't have to. We will. No, no, it's it's just because like. I don't know. Um, I like to do things for charity, but I don't always like to promote that, if that makes sense. Like the, like the charity boxing events that I've done, um, that I promote on social media because, you know, through, uh, what is it called? Just giving. Through yeah. just giving. Yeah. That's the way to do it. So social but, media, yeah. But there's a way, you're, uh, Vinny, because I do, uh, we do it. I've done it many, many times as a group. You do, you do the promotion, because you're, you're bringing it up, because you want to make as much money as possible for the charity. You do whatever the thing is, you tell everybody how much it is, and then you stop. Which is exactly what you do. Which is exactly what any normal human does. If you're one of those bell ends who goes, you know how much my charity last year? You're a cunt. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with charity. You're just a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> but you're allowed to promote it and talk about it when you're doing it, or we're allowed to ask you and you're allowed to answer. I think that's a wicked thing to do. I mean, it's just, you know, if, if you're in a position to, to help, and I'm not a rich person. If I was, I would give X amount to charity as much as I could. But, you know, um, if you're in a position where you can. Are you doing any more boxing? Is that a thing you're going to be going um, into again yeah. when you can? Obviously, it's gyms are shut. I mean, I want to. I really want to. Um, last year, I attempt, I tried to get to my, I tried to get my third fight about five five or six times I tried to make it happen and for one reason or another it kept falling through so I was like okay 2020 it's gonna happen I'm gonna get a couple in 2020 2020 comes oh, no you're not mate yeah so, you know it's a 2020 there's a lot there's loads of that with everything there's so many people in tight situations um uh one of the things with covid has been the you how you uh, uh, you know that the, almost the human experience is watching there's the so many people have had it way 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 worse than i have people have lo- I, haven't, I haven't lost anybody uh, everybody in my family is dead mm. so that anyone who's old enough to be a, to be worried about it has died so 
I haven't had those worries. I haven't had the financial worries that lots of people have had. I haven't had the health worries that other people have had. And so I do stupid videos on TikTok instead. <laughs> That's been my my capability. Yeah, mechanism. everyone's lockdown's to... been different. Yeah, just trying to make it better. Um, it's put... mask day today in the UK. Is it or is it Monday? No, it's Friday. It's today. Um... They're meant to be with masks. Oh, masks. Yeah. Mm. I, I see, thought that's part of already. You know, I thought it was the 24th. It is the 24th. That's 20th. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, 23rd. Oh, okay. Well, so is it start a business tomorrow? It's start. Oh, yeah, it's Friday. Sorry. I keep thinking it's Friday. It's Thursday. Dick it's, it. tomorrow. it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow you have to wear a mask. Yeah. Even so, I think that should have happened at the start. Mm. Oh, well, well, if, you, know, if you read the cop difficult. out. It's difficult. The science yeah, is very... Not. Difficult. Wearing a condom after you've had sex, but not putting it on the boy. I mean, to me, it <laughs> but a condom does work. Ninety-nine percent of the time. Mm. But then it's the yeah. It's it's complicated. It's really tricky. I think they brought. I don't know. I don't, do we want to get into this? But, I don't know. I don't, Retailers this, don't this, have to. Can, actually there's as much them. science that proves that masks are fairly useful, useless, as there is that that it's fairly useful. But then it depends don't. on your definition of science. And it's wait, it's 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 a minor inconvenience. Even if it doesn't work, just do it anyway. Who cares? I mean, why? What? I have what I was, what's blown my mind is the fact that people haven't bothered to wear masks this week. That no, could yes. have. <laughs> that, that, oh we, well, this, if you say it's the twenty fourth, it's the twenty fourth. Not wearing one. Until <laughs> you, I don't want to break the rules by wearing one before. The that time. wasn't that wasn't bothering you until you saw it in because on Saturday I went to I went to Tesco with my wife and I came out and we have a chat between the the the, the hosts. And I put, there's no fucker in the world wearing a mask. And I said, I don't mean like half of the people. I mean like one in 20 people are wearing a mask in there. And Richard put, it'll be all right. And I went, well, why the fuck would you wait? Oh, don't worry about it. And then Richard went shopping on Sunday and he came out and he was like, we're all dead. They're no one wearing a mask in there. We're all going to die. What are they waiting I, I for? I'll tell you what, that was... <laughs> put it on on Friday. Might as well pop it on now. That was what? Sainsbury's on Tuesday, but I went to Morrison's today and there were lots more people in masks. There was more so it's been a gradual, a gradual realization. So I was the only person wearing a mask today. It's so weird. Yeah, but you're a southern. I always wear yeah. a mask before I go out, though. But I went to the court the other day, and show off. I made a bit of a tip of myself. No, I only went there because I know they. <laughs> they only make. They only. They do special offers on whiskey. Like I bought a bottle of white in my cave mm. for fourteen quid. Nice. You know? Not bad. I bought a bottle of gin yesterday for twenty something. It was meant to be forty. I was like, yeah, I'll have that. <laughs> Show off. No, it's the same thing. I was like, going in the goal. <laughs> you never no, know what you're going to get. People that were working, they, they had masks, but they were under their chin. Like, yeah. just hold it under. I was thinking, all right. Yeah, well, the rules say you have to wear a mask, but not wear. <laughs> yeah. I, I did see the best mask wearing video yet. And it's a guy standing there with his mask on. And he, then he opens his mouth and throws a sweet in. He's wearing <laughs> two masks folded in half. Goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's wicked. <laughs> I actually had a quick, I don't, just, just, just a quick one, just get a moment off. I'll do this really, really quick. I was, a, um, <clears throat> I was just trying to baffle someone with non-science today. Um, I was on uh, <clears throat> the LBC. Uh, if you ever see an LBT post on Facebook, click on it, read the comments, right? Don't matter what it's about. It can be about the most obvious thing in the world, like, and they, people will argue that black is white for no reason at all. They're just tossers who reply. This guy, I won't say his name. He put, I don't need to wear one as I've stopped going to shops. Buy everything online and so, and so much cheaper than shops. Don't use public transport, just use my car. It's fine. It's sensible. I don't care. You don't have to wear a mask in any of those situations. That's okay. Keep everyone safe and no one can force me to wear one by me doing this. Could have stopped there, couldn't we? Nope. I don't like wearing one. Says I don't like wearing one. He put, I don't like wearing one as I don't like breathing back. The, I don't like breathing back in the germs my body has naturally tried to expel. Mm. Could not not reply. Um, had to had to reply to the genius that was this guy, dear Fred Bloggs, that's not how lungs work. In quotes, breathing back in germs my body is naturally trying to expel isn't it a thing. And even if it were, unless you're breathing the germs in through your ears, 
those that went through the mask would pass back out of the mask. What the fuck? Where have they come from, you giant twat? What did you breathe in through your ears and out through your mouth? None of that makes any sense, you giant twat of a man. And I thought, that's brilliant. Like, he's got this science. I don't, want to, I don't want, to, I want to breathe out the germs my body is naturally trying to get rid of. Breathe in and your body goes, we'll take all of that, but we don't want the germs. Throw them out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's all we've got time for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Happy Mask Smash Day for like tomorrow. Day. Happy Mask Day. Wear a mask. For <laughs> God's sake, wear a mask. <laughs> uh, thanks to Vinny for coming on. Check out his channel. I'll put a link Thank in you, the Vinny. chat. Thank uh, you. If you're not already, right, subscribe. I'll show you on. It's been really fun. Cheers, mate. Love you. Take uh, care, uh, chat. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.